Hey, y'all, what's going on? This is Rev Bruce once again, and I want to get to you with a little short video on knowing the difference between Lord, all caps, and Lord, just with a capital L, and what that means and how you can approach that. This isn't a full exhaustive study into uh, both words and terms and all of their extensions and derivatives, but this is enough for you to have an understanding and know the difference between which one of these is the title for God and which one of these is the actual holy name for God. But they both have to do with God. So let's set this up. Let's make this right. And let's do it right now. Here we go. So this is really a debate that happens when we read the Bible, right? And so you're studying the Bible and... You know, you come across this, you see one with all caps, you see one um, that's in another passage that just says Lord, you know, with the uppercase L and the lowercase letters for the rest of the word. And even when you ask friends, they're not able to help you make sense of it. And that's part of the problem. So today's video is simply to explain uh, a little breakdown between both Lord, as I said, all caps, and Lord with the capital L, okay? And there's a difference. And so as we go forward, Lord with all caps um, refers to God's holy name, Yahweh. In Hebrew, there are no um, A's, E's, no vowels, right? So you're not going to see it the same way that it's um, put in Yahweh, or even when it's seen as Jehovah. Um, you may see it as capital, uh, where the V in Hebrew is replaced with a W, um, where that's more of a phonetic replacement because of the sound Yahweh doesn't seem like it comes from a VH sound to us in English, but it does happen in Hebrew. There you go. A little lesson right there. And basically what that means is the one to be, the one existing. Um, just like it says the great I am in Exodus 3 and 14, well, that's about existing and having an existence. And guess what? When we read I am in Exodus 3 and 14, those are in all caps. So that's what we get as far as consistency in the Bible. Um, it does translate by word definition, to Adonai, um, which simply means Lord or Master. And you'll see it appear in a Bible in the places where God's holy name is spoken, but the scribes of the Bible um, elected to not write his holy name because his name is holy. So you have that there, right? Um, Lord in the other form, right, is utilized with an article, right? Not an indefinite article, but a definite article like the, or a possessive article such as my, right? Um, and so the examples are my Lord as possessive and the Lord as one using a definitive, definitive article to begin with, right? And so those are parts of speech in English, but we understand that um, the Lord, my Lord, is his title, right? Um, still translated as Lord or Master, still the same word in Hebrew, Adonai, right? And same meaning. And so when we see this Lord in the Bible, it is speaking of God and his Lordship position and title, not his holy name. Get that difference. It's about his lordship position and title, not his holy name. And I hope that helps somebody right there. Um, because this is just Bible study help. We're just trying to help you work through and see through some of the differences with some of the things you come across in the Bible, especially when you're reading the Bible and you see these little idiosyncrasies and say, well, wait a minute. I thought that was the Lord. Is that the Lord? Who, who's God? They're both God. They're just both 
different ways of addressing God. It's the same thing that I'll talk about at another time about Jesus Christ. Um, Jesus is his name. Christ is his title. He's really Jesus the Christ. Remember in Acts, it says they never stopped or ceased preaching that Jesus was the Christ. That means that Jesus, right, the name has the title Christ. It'd be like Jesus Messiah. It's Jesus the Messiah. It's Jesus the anointed one. It's Jesus the Christ. Okay. And so keep that in mind. They're both God. They're just God from his name and God from his title and position. Two different ways of looking at it. Still using the same word in a different format. Hey, if you really want to get this in a deeper study, I suggest going to gotquestions.org online. Um, they have plenty of answers for you readily available, um, and you can check that out. But this is just to help clarify that for anybody that might be struggling uh, with that. And I just want to make sure that you have this under your belt in your toolkit so you can use it when you need to in case there's any discrepancies when people are asking you about your faith and what does the Bible mean when it says blah, blah, blah. This way you can stand firm and have some answers as a believer who understands what is contained in the word of God. And you can also have a better understanding as you read and study who's speaking, in what context, and in what manner they're speaking to or of God. Now, take this and then we can call it a day. Bible Study Help is here to help you with Bible study tools, tips, technology, and techniques. And one of the ways that we can help you is for you tuning in Wednesdays, 11 a.m. on this same YouTube channel, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, every Wednesday for Live at Lunch Bible Study. Live at Lunch Bible Study. And we are currently going week by week, chapter by chapter, through 52 chapters of Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. And that's our study for the entire year of 2021. Jump on in. It's the Jeremiah journey. Check out some of our past videos of the Bible study. Join in. We're ready and waiting for you to be part of us. Hey, this has been Bible Study Help with Rev. Bruce. I hope this is a helpful video to you, and I hope that this allows you to bear more fruit out of your Bible study time and time again. God bless. Godspeed.